Well, it's Saturday night, folks, and this is going to be one cheesy stealth camp. You better believe it is, man, goes. Right. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, my fansexuals. Yes, it's Saturday night and we're back out on another stealth camp. I've got about an hour left before it's going to be pitch black, so I need to get a move on. The place I'm looking at camping tonight is round the side of the cheese factory. I've had this one in mind for a while. It's got a decent patch of grass where I can get the tent up. Sometimes when I'm stealth camping, you know, you haven't got room for a tent. You've just got to put the bivvy down, but tonight, I'm expecting a lot more rain. It's been raining all day. It's eased off now for the winter, but I'm expecting rain later on, so I want the tent up. If it starts lashing down, I can get rain and I can have a big crack on with you, absolute legends. I've got some ciders to drink. I've got a nice bottle of whiskey. You better believe I have mandingos. Loads of snacks, some nice food, and loads of shite to talk, as usual. Okay, the mandingos, I'll bring you back when I'm closer to the cheese factory. Right. Oh. Well then, we'll take a shortcut through this factory. The ground's very boggy. The old bog dan. I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad where well, I'm going to set the tent up. I brought me tarp just in case to put down on the bottom underneath the tent. Oh, who's that handsome lad looking through there? It's only the Mandingo. How are we? Let's get a move on. Oh, I am hilarious. Hey, you mate. <laughs> Big factory there guys, Mission Foods, used to be called Pride Valley, I think everyone round here still calls it Pride Valley, or Death Valley, <laughs> I've never worked there, but I know loads of people who have, I know a few people who still work there, they make like pitta breads, naan breads, shit like that, this is my location guys for tonight, is the cheese factory. I don't want to hang around too much. Have a quick look, because this factory here, it's constantly open. Seven days a week, three shifts. I don't think it ever shuts. I think this place used to be like that as well, but there doesn't seem to be anyone in. At the moment, prime cheese. I'm not a lover of cheese, guys. I like it on me pizza, or a slice of cheese on me cheeseburger. Seeing that mine, Mrs. Blot, she loves a bit of cheese in her mouth. Oh, matron. How are they? Because I'm drawing attention to myself. Let's go and get up here and round the side. Bring you back in a minute. Just making sure the course is clear, man, goes. As you can see, work is there. And the last thing I want is a snitch, the old snitch Rooney, to grass me up. Some weed over with a backpack on, hanging around the back of the factories. But let's go, guys. Let's make a move for it as quick as we can. Oh, oh yes. This is the weir. The weir of the Mandingo. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Hello right, guys. Like I said, I've had my eye on this spot for a while. I came across it when I was walking messy a good year ago. Oh shit, I didn't notice that like. CCTV. Ah. Oh, look at the state of this man. Definitely bogged down. Like I say guys, we've had 
shitloads of Wayne, Wayne Wooney, all over the place. Look at this. Squelchy. Oh. Camera up there. See if this ground here would have been perfect the Mondo Mandingos. This is where I would have put the tent. There's no way I can put the tent there. I'm gonna to have to look for a spot further down here. But by doing that, the old CCTV camaraderie is looking right on me. It's definitely gonna see me here there. There's a fire door there, that camera. It'll definitely be picking that up. It's definitely going to pick me up. But my experience in working in factories over the years, most places, there isn't someone sitting there 24-7 watching the camera. They normally only check them if there's been a break-in or an attempted break-in. Fingers crossed, guys, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping no one is looking out of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the old Baghdad off the back of Rooney and I'm going to get my seat and I'm going to sit there I'm going to sit here on purpose in front of the camaraderie for a good half an hour get a nice can of cider and if no one comes round in the next half an hour or so that means no one's looking through the camera and I should be okay I don't want to put the tent up straight away in case someone comes and says on your bike you know, in case I get my collar felt okay then guys I'll bring you back in a Winnie Mandela Bicycles. Well, as you can see, folks, I've gotten the tent up just in time before Wayne Wooney has arrived. Let's get a can, a nice can of inches. I've got four of these. Mrs. Blot will tell you, no wrong with four inches, guys. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, how are them? The camera's getting soaking. I'm getting soaking. Let's get in. Give you a quick look there, guys. I'll show you all my shit soon. First I'm going to get in, drink this can and we'll talk some shite there. Eh? Before I get absolutely wet, wet, wet. Why I'm some Marty Pillow. How oh, Let's get in. Oh. Oh yes. This is the life man dingoes. <laughs> you cannot whack it. I know some people will be watching they'll be thinking, you cannot whack it. You're stuck in a tent in the pouring down Wayne Wooney. That's a lashing down. And if you step outside, you're gonna get soaking. What's good about that? <laughs> I just love camping. I just love getting out rather than sitting on my fat hairy spotty ass. Watching the telly, eating loads of shite. You know, when you sat there, you just get bored, don't you? In and out the cupboard. In my last two stealth camps, this is luxury. Yes, it might be raining, but last week, I was by the side of the footpath. In them, I was going to see a woods, but I don't know. I don't know what, what it was. It was, they were like a weird set of trees I think it was all like dead wood and there was only like the tiniest little bit gap to get the bivy down it wasn't a comfortable night put it that way guys aye the week before I was camped with no tent or sleeping bag and the heated clothing ran out during the night so this is like the Ritz it's absolute luxury being inside here talking to an absolute bunch of legends I love you all and thank you very much for all the support. Just sitting here with the sound of the wind. A few drinks. I've got some waski there. Loads of bits and pieces, snacks, 
nice food to cook. I'll show you all that soon. For now, we're just sitting relaxing, <laughs> talking shite. I, I've had to pull the tent down further in this direction than I wanted. I'm right underneath the camera, but I'm confident now no one's gonna come and move me on. There's definitely people working in the factory. There must be like a skeleton crew. No, I don't mean skinny people. You know what I'm on about, guys. You know when there's just got, they've just got like a handful of people. I can hear them working away inside. I can, I can hear like the noise of the machines and air compressors and stuff like that. But um, yeah, fingers crossed nobody comes out the side door. They'll probably shite the cell if they do anyway. <laughs> They'll probably shite the cell and just leave me alone. Cheese man, dingoes. I, I've had to put the tent down here. That was all too much bogged on. You're just putting your foot in it. It's proper Jody Marsh. Even here, on like this side of the tent, it's a bit soft underneath. I'm going to sleep on that side. I'm hoping it doesn't spread down during the night. I can feel underneath. It's a little bit squelchy. The old Denise squelch. Hi. I'm going to have to give this tent a good clean. I don't normally clean this tent because it's me old battered and bruised tent that I've had for years that I've used for wild camping in the Lake District. You've seen me a million times stealth camping in it. But yeah, I think it's going to need a good clean after today. I think the bottom of it is going to be filthy. Absolutely filthy with mud and just absolutely hacky black. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh God. Ah, oh yes. Well guys, oh, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I don't even know what the football scores were. I've been that busy sorting the gear out the day, taking the dogs out for a walk. I haven't even had a chance to check the football scores. My coupon might have come in. I might have made loads of money. <laughs> no, I never win on my coupons, I'm useless. Right guys, I'll bring you back in a few Neil Sadakas lice. Well folks, still lashing down. And the wind is picking up, so I might as well have another can dingo. Oh yes, that's the plan dingo man dingoes. Lice. Ah. Oh. Oh, shut that door. Oh yes, folks. I've just had a nice little break with the rain, so I popped out for a quick slash garden. Now it's time to show you my setup for tonight. As you can see, I'm in the old battered and bruised Van Gogh Orion. Two-man tent. It served me well over the years. Look at this, guys. It's spread, spread eagled all the way over here. Oh, look at that. Denise Squelch. I've put me, uh, me top down there so I can lie in me tent and without having to take me boots off when I'm getting in and out, I can just put me feet there. I can easily put that in the washing machine, that's no problem. Anyway, let's show you my gear. Foil mat down, Burgos sleeping pad, four season sleeping bag, Trekology pillar, bin diesels in the corner for all my shite. For my main meal, I've got some extra large king prawns, some button mushrooms, and some tomato and basil brush. Boom, boom, lice, which has been kindly given to me for my good friend. 
Uncle Bensky beats international prayer boy Bunny Borrow and shown to British gas price are far too high on lifetime chain to the rich and famous after party people in the house of Love Shark, Baby Shark attack on Bondi Beach in Australian rules football club biscuits are really nice to face in the eight team game changing room from sports direct the cheat and the chips with salt and vinegar on mandingos. Oh yes! You know what I'm talking about mandingos and you know it makes complete sense. Rice does it. How are then? Let's have a go. That took three times to do that, mind guys. Three times. <laughs> right. I've already drank one. I'm on my second can of inches. As you can see, I've got two left. I've got a little bottle of red wine for later on from Aldi. Also from Aldi, a can of gin and tonic, just to mix things up a bit. I've got this little bottle of Waski, the Balvenie double wood, double penetration, 12 year old Waski. Now, that got sent to me a good month ago and there was no name with it. I haven't got a clue who it's off. And I was dying to get it out and give it a bash. So if you did buy me that, honestly, I am really sorry. I haven't got your name. I really do apologize. But thank you so much. It is very much appreciated. I will certainly enjoy that. If you can get in touch with us, you know, email us, whatever, and let us know. And I'm, I can shout you out another time. So yes, I've got no name for that waski, but I will certainly ding dang do a wee view later on. Thank you to the absolute legend who sent me that. Apologies, big time apologies for that. Right, what else have I got? Snackaroonies, I've got some black pepper salami. I've got some peri peri chicken skewers, the good old Kevin and Perry. I've got a Cajun chicken video on nasty. Barbecue Biltong from Browns. Link in the description for that, guys. Click the link. Use your code MANDINGO for your discount. I've brought some sweets. Round tree safari mix. Some kets. A good old bit of ketamine on a camping trip. Oh. <laughs> Is that it? All right. Some cakes there from my good friend, Mr. Kiplin. He gave me a good bag of goodies last week. Jürgen Cloffy. Jürgen Cloffy there for in the morning, if I fancy it. Water, a couple of bottles of water for a coffee and for dry mouth in Z Morgan. I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. I've showed you everything. I'm going to get me can. Oh, yes, man, dingoes. And I'm going to just stand out here for a bit. I'm expecting rain. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to stop. The rain's supposed to be in all night, all night long, in the famous words of... <laughs> Forget me words. Lionel Blair, that's what I normally say, isn't it? <laughs> and the famous words of Lionel Richie. Lionel Blair's what I normally say. Tony Blair. And the famous words of Tony Blair. You know what I'm talking about, guys. Right. I'm going to enjoy this. Mm. I'm going to have a little snack -a I'll bring you legends back in a few secondas. Ricicles. Well, Mandingos, I've had three cans of cider. Time now for a gin and tonic. This is just the Aldi Scheidt Grierson's London Gin and Tonic. 99 pence a can dingo. You can't go wrong, Mandingos, can you? Cheap as chips. Oh, not bad. Not great either, but not bad. Canny for camping though, not bad for camping. Little can dingoes, easy squeeze a couple of them in the old Baghdad. Doesn't matter how full your bag is, you can always squeeze a couple of them in. Oh, little ding dang do for this man dingo. You better believe it will guys. I, you know what, it's mad. Some of the comments I get, I'm not complaining, I love it. I love a bit banter, I love getting a bit shit. 
I like to give a bit back. The only thing is, when you give a bit back, a lot of people can't take it and they'll say, oh, you've changed, man, dingo. You know, they'll give me shit, you give them a bit back, and they take the hoof. So, aye, that's just the way it goes, isn't it? But, um, I get some comments sometimes and people will say, you're clearly not drinking, man, dingo. You know, that's an empty can you're drinking out of. Or you've poured that whiskey into your cup and you're only pretending to sip it. You're not really drinking it. Come on, man, dingoes. That is ridiculous. <laughs> you know, if you've seen my acting, bloody hell, in the changing rooms at work, when I was leaving the factory, you've seen my acting, I am absolutely terrible. So it would actually be harder to act drunk and do the fake drunk shit than what would be just to be natural, the old natural. Yeah, I'm not a big drinker, I'll admit that. You'll see me camping sometimes and I've only got four cans, a little bit of wasky, a little bottle of wine, and just that gets me, <whistles> gets me totally smash burgered. But I do enjoy your drinking when you've been working all week. I know I've left the factory now, but when you've been working all week and I'm going camping and you're looking forward to it, I, if I didn't have a drink when I was camping, it wouldn't be camping, it would just be like sleeping in a tent. Part of the camping experience for me is, as well as being out in the outdoors and enjoying it, having a drink and just chilling out, relaxing, making me videos, talking to you legends. Yes. So for me, having a few waskies and a bit of red wine and a few canned dingoes, that's what I like to do when I go camping. So for anyone that thinks that I'm fake drinking, you need to give your head a wobble, man dingoes, because this man dingo is the real deal. <laughs> you better believe I am. I know, I know you're watching, you're probably thinking, who the hell thinks he's fake drinking? That's the way it go, guys. That's the way it go, guys. Wake me up before you go, go. <laughs> That's the way it goes, guys. If you get 50,000 people watching a video, you're always gonna get five knackers that'll give you, you know, a bit of shit or say, you're not even drinking, man, Ningo, this is all fake. That's just the way it goes, guys. You've got to take the rough with Z Smooth. Cheers, man, Dingoes. Oh, and I tell you what, I'm over the moon. The rain stopped. I thought it was going to rain all night long. <laughs> In the famous words of Tony Blair. Right. <laughs> I'm going to have some more snacks now, so I'll bring you legends back in a little Winnie Mandela. Nice. Oh, matron. And the glove of self. Love. Oh. 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 Time for a little chess warmer. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and that certainly does warm the old chest of up Mandingos. The Balvini double wood, double penetration, 12 year old. Mm. 
single malt waski. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. And once again, guys, I'm going to see you. Oh, get this camera in this hand. Thank you to the legend that bought me this. I haven't got a name for it, like I've already said. Whoever you are, you're an absolute legend. It is very much appreciated. You better believe it is. Oh. Snotty nose. The nose is run dingo in. Mm. Yeah, that is certainly warming the cockles. A bit of activity over there. A couple of trucks came in. Either delivering or picking up. Why it's exciting. <laughs> it is though. You know when you're sitting here and you hear the noise of the truck. I'm up like that. Like a mere cat. Camera out. Like a pervert. Ow. <laughs> Hi. Any little bit of activity you hear. Straight up. What's going on? <laughs> it's better than sitting in the house and watching East Enders and Coronation Street. You better believe it is my big was. Mmm. Very nice. I tell you what guys. I'm gonna have another little couple of shut dingoes of this. And when I bring you back very soon, we are gonna do the world famous the mega world famous. Waski with you. Rice. Oh, oh yes, you know what time it is, Mandingos. Waski time. And this is what we've got this week. The Balvini Double Wood 12 year old single malt Scotch Waski. Kindly sent to me from, I don't know who, I've got no name, but if you're watching, you are an absolute legend and it is very much appreciated. You better believe it is. And let's get this popped in. The old famous Cub Dingo. Man Dingoes. Oh yes. A lovely helping there of top quality Waski. And let's get the old Schneckeroni in. Oh, like a strong sherry smell there straight away, guys. And I like a little bit of sherry as well. Let's get that swirled around there. Get the old bakeroni back in. There's an oakiness about it. Yes, we were expecting that. It is called the double penetration oak. Double, no, oh, sorry, double wood. <laughs> double wood. A woody, oaky smell thing going on, guys. And a nice little gagaroni of honey as well. Yeah, definitely honey in there, but I've got a good waft of sherry and a oaky wood thing going on. <laughs> I am some lyrical genius. Anyway, man, dingoes, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the taste and lies. A few spices there few spices but not not burn the throat although there's a few spices it's going down nice and smooth dingo man dingoes mm. dare I see the slightest little bit of like a bourbon taste that's just what I'm getting guys don't quote me on that. Don't, don't think I'm some 
expert, I'm not. I'm just a guy that likes a whisky while I'm out camping. I know it's a Scotch whisky, it's not a bourbon, but I am getting. Mm. I'm getting like some bourbon flavours coming through, like it's being stored in bourbon casks. I'm not sure if it has. I'm guessing it has, if I'm getting the bourbon taste, but yeah. Very nice because I'm a bourbon lover as well. Let's get another taste of Rooney Mandingos. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. I'm getting like some sherry flavours coming through. The slightest little bit of honey. I said I got honey in the smell of the old Nostradamus and the old taste of Rooney. A little bit of honey as well. Not a big honey taste, you know. You know, you get some whiskies like, what can I think of? Like Jack Daniels honey. Oh, it's got a strong honey taste. Nothing like that. I'm just talking the slightest little taste of honey, the slightest little taste of sherry, with a little bit of a bourbon thing going on, but it is a single malt Scotch whisky with all these lovely complex flavours, it is very nice mandingos. Yeah, there's a few spices there, like I've already said. It's more like a mixture of spices. You know, sometimes I see it's ginger spice. It's hard to tell with this one. It's a few spices fused together. The old fusel here. You know what I'm talking about, man, then goes. Mmm. But it's going down very smooth indeed. Oh, and where I said earlier on, a slight taste of sherry, that last taste gives another go. Oh. I take that back. It hasn't just got a sliced taste of sherry. I'm getting a big taste of sherry there. And that'll ding dang do for this man, man dingo. Man dingo. <laughs> that'll ding dang do for this man dingo. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. Balvenie, 12 year old, double penetration. I mean, double wood. I love a sherry. I'm not a big sherry drinker, but once in a while when I do have one, I really, really enjoy it. So, that is a fantastic oh, for this man then go a whisky with a little bit of a bourbon thing going on and a nice strong taste now a slight taste a strong taste of sherry down the hatch guys mm. Mm. wow mm. do you know what i just took a big gulp there that's gone down so smooth you know what's like guys when you try whiskey and you get a big drink and you go <clears throat> none of that that has gone down so smooth it's unbelievable it's so smooth it's unbelievable yes quality absolute quality i can't remember what score i gave it last time i think it might have been something like a i don't know 8.6 or 8.7 and I tell you what, I have extremely enjoyed that tonight. I've, I've loved it. Just a perfect size little bottle of some absolute legend that sent that to me. The Balvenie Double Wood 12 year old single malt Scotch whisky. I know last time I didn't give it a nine. I know it was like a little bit less than a nine. I can't remember what it was. I tell you what, I'm gonna change my mind. I have really enjoyed that. And I'm going to give that a 9.1 out of 10 dingo mandingos. Oh, oh, yes. You better believe I am, guys. And you know what I'm talking about. This is serious stealth coming. Oh, yes. Right. <whistles> Boomski. <laughs>
Oh yes, my fun sexualities. Time for a bit wed wine and time to add a little bit sophistication to the blood outdoor show and to same industrial estate because this is where I am. Same industrial estate. It's actually the industrial estate where my factory is that I've just left last week. Mm. A nice little drop from Aldi. Cheap as chops. <laughs> oh yes. Yes guys. This is where I'm from. The town of Siam. I live in Sunderland. I've lived there for 18 years now. That's where Mrs. Blot is from. So I moved from the amazing little town of Siam. I'm saying Siam. You guys probably don't even understand what I'm saying. It's the real way to say it is Seaham. S E E H E M. Seaham. But us locals say Siam. <laughs> Where are you from, mate? Oh, I'm from Siam. But it's Seaham. You know what I'm talking about, man, Ningos. Yes. So. Mm. While I'm drinking the old wine dingo and reminiscing about my town of Siam and the industrial estate I've been working on for the last 18 years, <coughs> I might as well talk some shite and tell you some daft little things that went on in the factory when I worked there, which normally came from me, the factory idiot. <laughs> For the last few years we've worked there, the toilets were hard. They're like these prison toilets, you know, these stainless steel silver toilets with a black rim around. There's no actual like toilet seat on. It's like a black rim around the top that's like screwed in. But it, years ago, you know, like a few years ago, we used to have like bog standard, bog, that's the right word for toilets, isn't it? Bog standard normal toilets with toilet seats on. But the toilet seats were always loose, they used to just fall off. The toilets were loose, you could sit on and you could you could rock from side to side. Well, on the wall in the toilets when you wash your hands, you've got like the soap dispenser that you'd push your hand on, get the soap out. There was also this other one that you pushed. You pushed it and you got like this creamy white, creamy colour barrier cream. So you, you put that on your hands as like a hand protector. It's supposed to be good for your hands. You know, after you've washed and dried your hands, you put that on and it's supposed to be, it's good for the skin dingo, man dingoes, as they say in the south of France. Well, this idiot, I used to get that barrier cream and I would rub it round. I would rub it round the toilet seat, all the way around. Do you know what I mean? So you couldn't tell. The whole toilet seat was covered in it and the toilet seat was loose so you knew when the next person went in they were going to sit in it and then they'd slide off do you know what I mean and then um, I got the same person about three times <laughs> a lad called the penguin or he's called Gary Mitchell but we call him the penguin he's a good lad I like him funny enough the day I left on the Friday Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Three days later on the Monday, the penguin, Gary Mitchell, he takes over as the shop floor manager. So I've getting out at the right time because he knows that I'm the man dingo that used to do that. A couple of times he's came up to us, did you put this cream? Did you put the barrier cream in the toilet seat? I went, I <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he's a good laugh. He can take the joke, so he's a good lad. If you're watching Gary, cheers man dingo. He'd say, you bastard, you. Oh, sorry for the language, guys. He'd say, you bugger, you. He went, I've just sat in the toilet and, and slipped off the side. But that's the kind of shit that goes on, guys. That's nothing. That's nothing compared to what, what's going on there. <laughs> Should I tell you anymore? I might as well, because I can't get in trouble, can I? I can't get in trouble anymore. Well, one thing's for sure. If I need to get my job back, that's not going to happen. If the man, if the owner, the owner of the factory, if he says he's going to say, 
he is not getting back on in this factory not that man didn't go cheers guys oh should i tell you some more shit oh well then pubes on the soap pubes on the soap's a classic so you know you go to wash your hands there'd be a couple of bars of soap there stick loads of pubic hairs on the bar of soap but like on the bottom do you know what i mean so someone will come out the toilet they'll get the soap and they'll go to wash the hands and then when they're washing the hands they realize because they haven't seen it because the pubes is face down they're washing that and they're like oh my god what's that there's pubes all over the soap <laughs> and was disgusting but it's blokes working the factory isn't it that's just the way it goes man dingoes <laughs> <laughs> I know you're looking at us and you're thinking, you filthy beast. You beast. You filthy beast. <laughs> you can tell the drink's taking effect now, guys, can't you? Wine, gin and tonic, ciders, whiskey. You better believe it. Cheers, guys. Oh, I'm not going to tell you anymore. <laughs> Believe it or not, there has been some worse things than that, but I don't want to see it on YouTube. If you guys have worked in a factory, you know the score. You know the score in the Blood Outdoor Show. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting cold now. Oh, I am. So I'm going to climb inside the old 10 dingo, a very soon man dingoes. And you know what? I fancy a nice hot meal. Some giant king prawns. Uncle Bensky, tomato and basil bush, basil bush, basil brush, boom boom, basil brush, lysicles, yes, with some mushrooms. However, then, let's get in the tent and let's get some food on. You know, makes sense. Right. Come on then guys, it's 12.30 at night, there's snout wrong with that, but it's time to get in and cook some food, because I'm hungry now, you know what I'm talking to snout, are we? <laughs> snout, no are we? I'm not going to carry on with a snout crack, let's get in and cook some food. There's no better than a hot meal when you've been out in a snout camping. Oh yes, guys. You know it makes sense. And you know exactly what I'm talking about, snout. Right. <laughs> Folks, that's the mushrooms bubbling away. Get the King Pronskis in. You know it makes sense. Oh, yes. Look at that, guys. A thing of beauty. We'll give the King Prawns a couple of winnets. And then we'll add the Uncle Bensky tomato and basil brush rice. Boom, boom. You know, make sense. Oh yes, folks. 
time to add the licicles. Come on then, get that popped in the old pansexual. The old pansexual. Pan sexual. Sexual. Come on. Won't be long now and we will do we will be doing some serious munching glad back. Oh yes. Tomato and basil brush. Boom boom. Ricicles. Button mushrooms. Giant king prawns. And that will certainly be a meal fit for a mandingo. Right. Give that a couple of Winnie Mandela's. And that'll ding dang do for this mandingo. Rice. Alrighty folks, let's have a look. Oh yes, look at that. Almost, almost done. Let's stir the porridge guys. Err. Oh look at that. I am dying to get stuck into this. Right, two more minutes. And that is done dingo and man dingoes to see ya in the deepest forest of the Congo. Oh yes, folks. Here we go. Time for some Scran Daniels. The old Jack Scranials. Look at that. Oh, a nice giant king prawn. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Button mushroom, tomato, and basil, brush, rice, bomb bomb. Mm. Wow. Oh, the king prawns can be pretty bland, can't they sometimes? So I chose this tomato and basil rice. Nice bit of flavour with the mushrooms and there's a hair on there hmm. Mrs. Blood's hairs get all over do you guys find that like you'll scratch your arse crack and you'll pull like one of your wife's long hairs out your arse crack <laughs> it's mad isn't it just your wife's hairs get all over don't they <laughs> it's unbelievable and this food is unbelievable look at that Mm. Oh wow. Oh. Mm. Mm. How good does this get mandingos? An absolutely pipe and hot meal in a cold tent and one of my flavours foods flavoured foods king prawns and mushrooms it does not get much better than this I'm a mumbling mess at the minute with my words because this food is just so nice mmm wow look at that Look at that man then goes right. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you what. I think it's colder tonight than where it was when I done that stealth camp and I didn't use the tent. I had no sleeping bag. We 
just being inside the tent here makes a massive difference tiny thin piece of material you wouldn't think it would do much you've got no idea guys it really does it was happy dingoes that night when I was sitting about drinking eating a hot meal and talking to you guys when I first got cosy on the sleeping pad and zip the jacket up and turn the heating on I was thinking no problem but when I woke up during the night brrr, so there's no worries like that tonight I'm in the tent I'm all wrapped up sleeping bags here four season sleeping bag believe you me I'll not want to get up in the morning. I'll be, I'll be that nice and toasty. I'll not want to get up. And this hot meal is certainly doing the job for now, guys. Mm. And the perfect time to do it. I know when you're in the house, people say, well, you shouldn't be eating late at night, man, Dingo. And you shouldn't be eating that late. That's a bad time to eat. True, true. But when you're camping, this is actually a good time to have a hot meal. Hot meal, if you haven't got any food yet, even just a hot drink, a nice hot coffee, or a cup of tea or hot chocolate before you get in your sleeping bag. Right. Mm. Got that warmth in your body, get in a sleeping bag, get zipped up. The old zippy and bungle. And it's happy that goes all the way till the Morgan time. Mm. Well, my fan sexualities of life. I'm going to take this chance now to see a big, fat, mega, ginormous thank you. All you absolute legends, unbelievable legends, who have supported my channel, the Blood Outdoor Show, over this last week. So kind of you guys. You know the score, you know where I'm going to see you. Thank you so much. You don't have to do it. Just watch my videos and leave me a comment. That'll ding dang do for this man, Dingo. But the fact that you've got out your way and you bought me a coffee, well, that's so kind of you. And I do really appreciate it. Each and every one of you, I appreciate it with all my heart. Cheers, man, dingoes, and thank you so much. You're all a bunch of legends. You better believe you are. There's your names down there. And down there, my pal dingoes, my fansexuals. Thank you so much. You're a bunch of legends. Right. Cheers, guys. Oh, yes. Mmm. Double mushroom, that was. The old double drop. Ew. The old double drop of Ruski. Then with the days, guys. The old double drop days. Oh. I know I need to buy some better stuff. I do get people saying, Mandingo, you know you're doing well with your YouTube. Why don't you buy some better gear? That's just the way I am. You guys know, there's nothing flash about me. I've got this cheap shit, and it works, and it does for me, so uh, I'm not in a rush to go out and buy expensive stuff. I will do, don't get me wrong, in time, as I'm going out wild camping every week. I 
I will buy stuff that is going to make things better, make things easier for me. But I'm in no rush, dingo man, dingoes. This cheap shit will do for me. Anyway, folks, there's not much left. So I'm going to turn the old camaraderie off. It's nearly time to snug. Get snug, I should say it. In the four season sleeping bag. So I'll bring you Legends back in a Winnie Mandela and a couple of Nails to Darkers. Winnie Mandela is going to be getting it on with Nails to Darker. Oh, matron, you better believe they are. Rice. Well, folks, it's half one in Z Morgan. I've had a good drink. I've had a good time. I've enjoyed myself talking to you absolute legends. My belly is full of king prawns and lysicles. It's been fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to get some shut eye and I will see you legends. First thing in Z Morgan, the coffee time. You better believe I will. Bonjour. Good night. <laughs> Au revoir. Sayonara. And chow me in. Lice. Ah, good morning, Mandingos. It's nearly nine o'clock. And I slept like a baby. A couple of times I woke up just to turn over when my side was aching. I do need a better mattress. But I, what a fantastic night. Had a great time. I need to pop out now. <laughs> You know the score, guys. I say this every time. I am bursting for a slash, Gordon. So, <laughs> once I'm up, I might as well get packed away. Okay, then, my fansexuals. Oh, I'm going to get a quick peek. Bring you back in a seconda. Alrighty folks, that's me all packed up. Baghdad, Bin Diesel, you better believe it, Mandingos. I'd like to say leave no trace, but as you can see, all that, Jody Marsh, couldn't be helped. There was that much rain came down, and that's the main part where I was in and out the tent. There was a few bits of litter lying around. I've picked them up, I've bagged them up in my Bin Diesel. You know it makes sense, Mandingos, but I, Brilliant place to camp. I was worried about that when I first turned up. The old CCTV camaraderie. But luckily for me, no one was watching. How oh, well then, let's get this bag on because it's time to make like a tree and split. You better believe it is. That's it guys, I'm out of there. Another successful stealth camp completed. Right. Well guys, that's it. That's the end of this week's stealth camping video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've had an absolutely fantastic time as usual. You better believe I have Mandingos. If you have liked it guys, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I do read every one and I will try and get back to as many people as possible. That's it then guys, that is it. Please join me on Wednesday night for my next wild camping adventure. Join me next Friday for another foodie review. 
and next Sunday for another serious stealth camp. Oh, oh yes! You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos, and you know what makes absolute, complete, total sense. Right. Oh, animation. You know, it makes total sense. My very really nice.